In order to export an object as USD, all you need to do is select, then go to File, Export Selection. Now you see you have File Type USD. As you might see, there's a few options. Keep, Include Options. You can also set for plugin configuration to Arnold, and you have the ability to export as ASCII or binary. You just give it a name with the parent scope. You have different options like subdivision methods to keep geometry information, color sets, UV sets, skeletons, skin clusters, lens shapes, display colors. You can also save his USD preview surface or Material X preview surface. Set the ability to save animation data and all this stuff. I'm going to export selection, replace that one. And done. There are different ways you can bring in a uh, USD file from Maya. You can either go to Create, Universal Scene Description, Stage from File. Let's go find out. So you see, we have a print path, low paid lows, etc. Uh, and I'm going to go find uh, that specific uh, file. So I'll save it here. Um, USD. And that gives us this particular object as you may see with the actual name as a layer so that works pretty quickly as you might see um, another way you can bring in information you can delete this now um, is via uh, by first graph so for that you can create a new graph I'm going to delete that input because I don't need it and I'm going to create an at the stage uh, node that at the stage node give us the ability to basically bring uh, the, uh, the USD file in. So you see you have some inputs and some information on this side here that you can use. For this time, I'm gonna pretty much just um, bring a prim definition. When I create a node, you will see um, by right clicking on that, it gives me uh, this particular uh, the def or x form. If I go here, you will see in here it's actually seen. Make sure you have shapes enabled uh, as a bifrost graph shape. So if I now create an output, you will see it will give me a USD proxy one. So if I uh, expand that, you will see that is seen as translate. It's foreign data, but it's a translate. So now all I need to do is go back here and change that and give it a name. This one's going to say fill pod. And that will be renamed automatically here. Now, next thing is to create a reference definition. So I can create a reference and then a, a layer. Now all I need to do is go find my object again. You see, see, it's back the same thing. As you see, this here now is an unshareable layer, so you are doing everything inside of Bifrost. Um, okay. All right. So, last thing, uh, I'm gonna delete all this stuff. Collapse that, and we're gonna unhide the pod. Now we can also have the ability to create a scene stage with new layer. That creates an anonymous layer and it gives us a state sh shape one. So now what we can do is we can grab all these objects and duplicate to as my US data to stage one. Now you see that appears here. I can isolate that. That comes in USD form. All I need to do now is repeat the steps. Just create me that, adding my cables, and the rest of the geometry. Okay, now that that's done, I can hide that object, and you will see the information here is kept. All that information is here. And now I have a few options. You can see that uh, the Maya data lives in gray alongside with the USD foreign data. Now, what I can do, I can select ob objects in the screen. I have the ability to change things like rotations here. I 
I can do all these operations in USD format, right? But if say I wanted to edit, I wanted to match this transform to that other transform, uh, all I need to do in this case is grab that and edit as Maya data. Same with this one. I'm gonna find it and edit as Maya data. As you can see, I have now the ability to edit it. So now I can do or perform any changes like for example modify faces and do whatever I want uh, but I also have the ability now to match say transforms like uh, say modify I'm gonna match rotations once that's done I can just merge to USD and that goes back into this part so that's some of the operations that you can do inside of my as USD as you would work normally you also have the ability to snap a line. So if you want to snap to a specific object, say I want to bring this sphere and snap it here somewhere, I have the ability to do so. So you can see it's quite fast. So let's see that there. So snap to points works quite nicely. It's quite fast. So one last step once you're finished editing, uh, is just to save uh, the session layer. So at the moment it's an anonymous layer. So what we're going to do is click in here and just go find where we want to save that. In this case, I'm going to save it right over here. As you see, I have a port USD. I, I can either save on top of that uh, or just give it another name, say port version 02. Save that. That replaces that in here so I can save the stage. Now the stage is saved, and I can start, you know, bringing it in then in a different object, or sorry, in a different scene. So another way to bring in USD data is through Arnold as a stand-in. So you can click in here, go find your USD, and that will bring it in as a stand-in USD. So you have the ability to change view draw uh, mode, viewport draw mode. You can see the different types. See shaded. That's going to give you the actual pod in there. Now you have the ability to work on procedurals, so alembic settings. If you do have certain alembic settings, and you can also add uh, different looks, create a new look, for example. Um, you can see the contents of the file over here. And you can also add specific assignments like uh, a new shader or add an operator like this. And if you show the graph, you will see everything in here. So regardless how you import your data as USD or how do you bring in your USD data into Maya, you can, as long as you use the annual render, uh, annual plugin configuration w when exporting, um, you should be able to see every single texture from Arnold. Um, so again, if you use this, it's going to export all of your textures and all your lighting information, uh, and you will be able to see it. So just a quick render just to show um, how accurate that looks. And it doesn't matter if you bring it through Arnold, if you bring it through uh, the Bifrost graph or Maya directly, you're always going to get your results. and for every single variant, you'll be able to see uh, your render.